Hey guys, this is Brian Marino with Apex Software, and I wanted to put out a quick video and give you all a sneak peek of Apex Sketch VX with the Apex Sketch Portal. Um, the VX, the X stands for cross-platform, and what that means is it's a web-based sketcher that you can use on any device. It'll run on a Mac, it'll run on a Windows computer, it'll run on an iPad or an Android tablet. Uh, it will be optimized to run on phones. It actually will run on the phone now. It's just not optimized yet, um, but that is in the works and it will get there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a demo uh, on my iPad and I'm going to show you how you can take the sketch from the field and get it back into version 7 and import it into your appraisal software. Um, if this is something you're interested in, please like and share this video. And if you want, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that we put out. My plan is to put out a weekly or bi-weekly video um, that answers some of the questions that are coming in. So if you have questions here, feel free to add them in the comments. I'll kind of look at the comments and go over them. And that could end up being the subject of the next video I'll release. Or I could respond to the comment uh, in the comments section and just give you your answer there. But um, feel free, like I said, to like, share, pass this on to anybody you think might be interested. Um, but to, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and open Safari on my iPad and I already have it um, pointed to the website for the portal, but I'm not gonna log in through Safari. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the share icon and I'm gonna select add to home screen. And that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add an icon to my home screen on my iPad. Um, that way I don't have to go through Safari any longer to get to this sketcher. All I need to do is tap the icon on my iPad home screen and it will take me directly into the sketcher. Um, I'm not signed in yet, so I'm going to go ahead and tap the email field and I'm going to use my predefined login and log in to the sample account I have here. Um, you'll notice there are no sketches in my portal yet. Um, this is how it'll look when it's brand new. You will be able to upload your existing sketches if needed. If you need to take one in the field and edit it, you will be able to upload it here. Um, and that way you can also keep track of all your sketches from this point forward. They'll all be saved in the cloud. So if you get a new computer or you want to use Apex on another computer, you don't have to move a file over to be able to view your, your sketches. You'll be able to access them on any device anywhere as long as you have a connection. Um, this will also work offline, by the way, so if you are not connected to an internet connection, you can still sketch. You'll just have to reconnect to the internet to sync your sketch back to get it into version 7, um, which I'll go over here toward the end. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on the new sketch button, and it pops up a property record card. So in this property record card, I'm going to go ahead and just enter an address here. So I'll tap in the, the field. And it'll auto populate addresses as I'm typing. I'm going to select the top one, the carriage bend address. It'll go ahead and populate the fields, uh, city, state, zip for me, um, make sure everything's correct. If I want to fill out any other information, like if I have a file number, uh, if I want to enter, you know, the owner or any other information, you can enter it here as well and it will be saved. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap OK. And so now the a ABX will launch and now we're ready to sketch uh, to create a sketch for that address. So the way this sketcher works, it works just like any other mobile application we've ever released. The keystrokes are also very similar to our desktop software, so it's not going to be that big of a change for you to learn this. It's going to work very similar to the way we currently work. Um, to get started, I'm going to tap on the draw icon. It'll give me a touchpad on the right along with a cursor in the center. I'm just going to drag my finger and place the cursor where I want to start and I'm going to tap enter. Um, I'm going to type 20, tap the right arrow, tap enter. So just like any other version of Apex, you're going to enter the distance, direction, enter. Distance, direction, enter. So I'm just going to kind of quickly repeat that and get started with the footprint. Um, we can center the sketch at any time, but to the, at the bottom left, to the right of undo and redo, there's a center button. If I tap center, it'll center it on my screen. So you can always recenter. If you start it in the wrong place, it's not a big deal. Just recenter the sketch and it will center it back into your view.
Um, we can draw angles like we always have. So here's a bay window. I'm going to use rise and run. So I'm going to go two down, then two left, tap enter. We'll go six left, enter. And I'm just going to tap the B key on the right side of the touchpad to mirror that first angle. And I will release another video at some point giving you all tips on how I'm drawing all of this. This is more just giving you an example of what can be done on the iPad and how we can get it back in. Um, more details will be coming soon in the future videos that I release. Um, our next wall is 20 feet left, so I'm going to tap 20 L. It, let's say it's 53 degrees. Tap enter. There's a 20 foot line at 53 degrees left. We can come 90 off of an angled wall. Um, we can tap and hold the direction arrow to align. We can tap A to auto close an area. Um, so let's say, okay, we got our first floor drawn. Now I want to add a patio. I'm going to drag my cursor over near this corner, tap the jump icon. It will jump my cursor to that corner. Tap enter, and then we'll go six right. We'll come 10 down, 10 right, and I'll make a curved wall. So I'm going to tap the curve icon at the top, curve left. And we have a curve. And I'll just drag the cursor down to that corner and tap enter twice. All right, and then we'll recenter. All right, so we have a first floor and a patio drawn. So from this point, I want to go ahead and define or identify what these areas are. So I'm going to tap the define area icon on the left. I'll tap inside the area I want to define. It'll highlight it and give me a preview of the square footage. I'll come in and I'll do GLA1 first floor and tap apply. Now that area is defined. I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll tap in the patio. I'll select patio in my list and I'll tap apply. All right, so we have all of our areas defined. Um, at this point, let's say we want to add some interior walls and maybe a few text labels. I won't get re real detailed on the interior walls, um, but I'll give you an example of how it's done. So I'm going to tap on the, def uh, the interior wall icon or the freeform icon. I'll drag my cursor to whichever corner I want to start from. Tap enter, and we'll come four feet up. We'll go 20 feet over, and then I'll come 10 feet back, and I'll split that into, let's say, there's two bedrooms right here. All right, so I drew the interior walls for both rooms. Now I'm going to come over to my text library, and I'll find bedroom in my list, select it, and then I'll just drag it over and drop it where I want it. Grab bedroom again, drag it over, drop it where I want it. So you can easily add text labels to your sketch as well as interior walls um, while you're on site. Uh, so let's say at this point we're done with this sketch, we want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and tap save at the top right corner. And it will save this sketch. And now you'll notice there's one sketch in my sketch portal. Um, there's a preview of what we just drew on the right. Um, there's a breakdown of the areas that are drawn. So we can see our first floor is 1909.4 square feet. Our patio is 308.5. And then it gives us a total living area. Uh, as well as any subject info we filled out will show under the subject info field. Um, but at this point, I'm going to go ahead and switch my view over to my desktop. And I'm going to open Apex 7. Uh, I'm opening Apex 7 standalone, but most of you that are using appraisal software, you're actually going to launch Apex through your appraisal. So whichever appraisal program you're using, you're going to click the new sketch button or click on tools and go to Apex or double click on the sketch page. Whatever it takes to launch Apex through your appraisal program, that's what you're going to want to do. Um, so go ahead and um, launch Apex. Um, and once Apex opens um, through your appraisal program, you're going to go to the Sketch Portal tab. And um, you're going to click on Portal Import. And that's going to pull up your portal. And I'm already logged into mine. If you weren't, it would have prompted you to log in. But since I'm already logged in and I only have one sketch in my portal, we can clearly see here's the sketch we just created on the iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And in version 7 now, I have a preview of what I drew in the field. Um, I can view the same thing here, the which areas are which, how many square feet they are. I can see the total living area, and I can see any subject info I added. So I can confirm everything before I even open this sketch, what I have. Um, so I want to bring this into Apex so that I can save it into my appraisal software. So I'm going to go ahead and tap Import, or click Import, 
and here's the sketch we just created on the iPad. Um, so we're done at this point. Now we could clean the sketch up, you know, we could make some changes. We probably want to get rid of those duplicate labels. Um, now that will be improved. That won't always be there, but at this point it is. So we could clean it up, do what we need to do. And then when we're done, we'll go ahead and just close and save the sketch into your report. All the, your, all your square footages will transfer in and we're done. So we just quickly took a sketch from in the field, synced it into seven and brought it into our appraisal report without having to send files back and forth, anything like that. Um, so anyhow, I just wanted to give everyone a quick demo of what the sketch portal is, kind of how it will help to streamline your field sketching. Um, you'll be able to confirm things in the field, make sure everything's right before you leave so there's no need to go back because there was a mistake and you can't figure it out. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, if this is something you're interested in, please like and share this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new updated videos I put out. My goal is to release a weekly or bi-weekly video um, kind of answering the questions that everybody has and kind of help with the anxiety of all the changes that are coming out in the industry right now. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, put them in the comments or give us a holler.